Hello, greetings, good evening. Assalamu alaikum to everyone who is attending this Easy Speak Up Close webinar training session. I'm Akanke Abdul Khalik, the District 79 webinar manager, and I'm delighted that we are starting this four session Easy Speak training for all district members. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the context of why we're doing this, and we're excited to do this. So I want to welcome everyone on behalf of our district team, our district director, DTM Abdella Sharif, our program quality director, DTM Rashid Ali, and our club growth director, DTM James Tarouk. We are presenting this as part of the District 79 webinar series. And I want to tell you who the team of presenters are today. First, we have Toastmaster Nuha Hashim. Toastmaster Nuha first joined Toastmasters in January 2014 through Dahran Toastmasters Club. She served as their club treasurer for one term in 2014, and she is one of the charter members and the founding vice president of education of Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club, where she served as VP of education, and that was for two consecutive terms. She is now the current and president-elect of Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club. She took my place. I was the founding president of Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club, and it's been a joy to work with her as a team. Nuha has been using Easy Speak since December 2014 when she was the VPE of Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club. She is a graduate of Ain Shams University in Egypt, and she graduated in 2013. Her major was Communication Systems Engineering. And also joining you for the training is yours truly. I'm DTM Akanke Abdul Khalik, and I'm, as I said before, the District 79 webinar manager. I am the Toastmaster of the Year for 2015, the past Area 20 governor, founding president of the first women's only club in Division M, Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club, and the first DTM for Division M in its entire 35 year history. We're delighted to bring you this training today about Easy Speak, and we hope that you will participate actively with us. And I want to tell you how to do that. First, you can raise your hand on your control panel. You should see a hand icon. You just click that. And every once in a while, I'll look into the question box or look into the attendee box to see who has their hand raised and um, then take the questions by opening your mic. When you raise your hand, that means you want to say something. You either want to ask a question or you want to make a comment and you want to do it verbally. You can also type a question in the question box here, as you can see on my screen. Can everybody see my screen? Let me just pause there for a moment and ask that question. Can everyone see my screen? If you see my screen, can you type yes or hello or something in the question box? I'm waiting. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Thank you. Hi, Fatin. Thank you, Dr. Adela. Thank you, Steve and Bill Keys. Thank you all for responding so quickly. Okay, great. So you can type a question if you have a question. That means you want me to ask the question for you. So I'll read it or your comment. I'll read it for you. There's another way that we'd like for you to participate, and that is through polling. So we have some polls that we've created that we will launch during this training and this gives us a chance to hear from you so we'll ask a question and you'll have 30 seconds to respond and we'll tally or the system will tally your responses and then we'll show everyone the responses so remember to vote and you'll have 30 seconds when you see the poll launched and then we'll share the results with everyone all right so let's get into our training for tonight we are going to be presenting on easy speak and this is the agenda and Nuha, i'm just going to Turn your mic off for just a moment because I'm hearing a little scratching there. One second. So our presentation topics are, I'm going to give an overview of the home page of Easy Speak. Then I'm going to show you how to add a club to Easy Speak. And I'm going to show you the control panel. Then Nuha is going to show you how to add and edit users and how to reset 
profiles from members who forgot their password. And if we can get Andrea on, she was having problems earlier. If we can get her on, she'll do troubleshooting and show us how to use the discussion forum and how to edit profiles also from members and how to switch from the member view to the officer view. And um, if she doesn't get on, then we will have Nuha do her portion as well. Now, before I start, I want to ask some questions. We're going to start out right away by launching our poll. So the first question is, is your club already set up on EasySpeak? Okay. Almost all of you have voted. Okay, so I'm going to close the poll now in 10 seconds. Great. All right, so let me show you all the results. 63% said yes, and 38% said no, so um, thank you for sharing that with us. We have some idea of who we have in attendance with us this evening, and I want to launch another poll to find out what your role is in your club. So tell us what your role is. Are you the president, vice president of education, another club officer, or a member? Waiting for you all to respond. Can you see that poll? Okay, for some reason I'm not getting any responses to this poll. Let me close it and try it again. Ah. Okay, I can't launch it again once I close it. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we'll get some idea, I'm sure, while we're doing the session. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my browser so that we can actually start the training with the overview of the home page for EasySpeak. Now, the web page for EasySpeak is easy-speak.org. And when you go there, you will see something at the top here that says EasySpeak. Toastmaster Automation. Can you all still see my screen? I just need to check in to make sure you can still see my screen. No. Oh, you didn't see the poll. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen now? Okay, yes, great. All right. So I'm just on the home page of EasySpeak. I haven't logged in or anything. So when you first get to the EasySpeak home page, you will see EasySpeak Toastmaster Automation. And then you go to the left-hand side under username and password, and you sign in. Now, um, before I do that, though, I want to first show you how to sign in as a new club. If you're a new club for the first time, um, I want to show you how to do that. And knew how you sent me the club number for El Jabal. Did you, let me open her mic quickly. Nuha, did we get ahead of time the uh, club number for Jabal Toastmasters? No, we did not. I'm getting it right now. Okay. Well, let me just try here. Sorry about that. We forgot to do that. Did I spell that right? Yes. It's Club 7209, so let me just grab that number. Okay, why don't I see it? Oh, here it is. Okay. You got it? Yep, I got it. Thank you, dear. So we're going to set up El Jabal for the first time. If you haven't set your club, and 38% of you said you had not, so what you do is you go to easy-speak.org, put your club number in there. I don't have all the zeros, and I don't think that matters. And then click Add Club. Then you will get a pop-up window that asks you to log in. But if this is your first time and you're just setting up your club, what you would do is you would just go to the underneath where it says Log In and underneath where it says I Forgot My Password and click Register as a New Member. And then you're going to get this agreement, terms of agreement that you have to agree to. And 
click I agree to the terms. You read the terms, basically it says you're going to behave yourself, you're going to uphold the Toastmasters ethics, and you won't abuse the system or do anything um, inappropriate on while using Easy Speak. And so you click I agree to the terms. And at that point, you're going to initially set up your own user profile. So we're setting up Eljabel, and I need to grab, sorry guys, the email for the president. And then I'm going to set this up as him. Just make sure I'm still in the right place here. So many windows open. Okay, so I'm going to choose a username for him. I usually choose the first initial last name, Y Tolba. Email address, just plop your email address in there. Whoa, it didn't copy. And then you choose a password, whatever you want. If you're setting this up for the first time, you're the first person to use to um, set up the system for your club, so you're going to become the admin, and you want to choose whatever you want your password to be. Okay, and once you've done that, you can also add your personal information, your first name, your last name, and anything else you want to fill out. But for the purpose of this, that's enough for now. And then you click Save. And if for any reason there's a duplicate, somebody has already set you up in the system or what have you, then you'll get a red message that says this user is already set up. But if everything is okay, your screen will just refresh and it will automatically log you in. You can see here it says, Welcome back, Yasser Tolba. And it shows welcome, Y Tolba. And I spelled his name wrong, but he can ch he can change that when he um, logs into the system the next time himself. So once that's done, you have to wait um, maybe within 24 hours, I would say, and you're going to get an email, and I'm going to show you my email now. I forwarded it to myself earlier today. You get an email that says your club name, and the title of the email, the subject line will say your club name. Add it to EasySpeak at EasySpeak.org. Can everyone still see my screen? And I'm going to open the mic for someone. Yes, great. Okay. Uh, Dr. Adela said no. Yes, okay, you can see it. Great. Okay, someone has a question, so I'm going to pause here for just a moment. Um, but let me just finish saying about this email. This is the welcome email that you'll get. It'll, it'll greet you and it'll say they, that your club has been added and your club name will have a hyperlink which will take you directly to your club website. So if I click this, which was the email that I got for Dahran Women's, uh, and Yasser will get a similar email tomorrow, you just click on that link and it logs you back into your page. So see here at the top it says Easy Speak Dash Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club. All right, so now let me go open the mic for Philip because he has his hand raised. Toastmaster Philip, your mic is open. Do you have a question or a comment? Toastmaster Philip, do you want to ask a question or a comment? Your mic is open now. Can you hear me? OK. I'm going to mute you again. If you um, want to ask a question, you can raise your hand again, and we'll try your mic again. Let me see if, if there are any questions in the question box. Okay. Oh, it was a mistake. Okay, no problem. No problem. All right. So now that I'm logged into uh, – I'm logged into – Oh, wow, look at that. I'm still logged in as Y Tolba, but what I want to do now is I want to log out as Yasser Tolba and log in as myself. So I'm going to go to Profile, Log Out because I need access now for the rest of the training to more than what I can have access to by being uh, under his user ID. So I'm going to log in as myself, and it remembers me from before. So I click log in on the left side of the screen. And it logs me into my primary club, and I think it's the first club that you were 
registered with, that's what it does. I don't know that for sure, but that's what I think. I'm logged, I'm associated with three clubs right now on Easy Speak. I'm associated with Dahran, with Dahran Women's, and with Pearl Weave. Um, and I started out with Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club, and this is what it logs me into automatically. And I think that's the default. But if I want to go to Dahran or to any other club, I just click the other ones, and it will take me directly into the meeting planning, into the user list for that club. It's just that simple. When you want to come out of one club and go into another club, you want to sign up for a role at different clubs, you just click that link, go to their meeting, and um, that's how you do it. It's just that simple. But we're not going to do much of that right now. Today's session is to really do an overview of how to set up your club, how to um, add a club, and now I want to show you the, the interface of the menus. Just an overview right now, because remember, these are four sessions, and we're going to go into detail in a different way for each time. Okay, uh, someone is asking a question. Toastmaster Fatin, hi. How do we change the information and where do we meet? Okay, I'm going to show you that in just a moment. That's what we're going to uh, get to in just a moment. Let me first just show you an overview of these menu items. Um, under the home button, you have home, our blog, meet our members, where you can get a directory. You can go to uh, members pages. You can look at directions for, and primarily this is for um, if you're at if you are wanting directions for that club and you want to know how to get there, that's for you or anyone else who comes to your page in Easy Speak. Because remember, other people can access your page, but they can't access all the information. So they'll, they can get directions under the home uh, menu. For meetings, this is a common menu that you will use, whether you're an officer or a member, because this is where you can go to the calendar to look at the meetings that are coming up. You can look at the last meeting. There's a shortcut for that. You can look at the upcoming meeting, and the system already knows when the next meeting is for this particular club. We meet on Tuesdays, and the next Tuesday is December 15th. You can look at an agenda for our mobile device. If you're looking at it on your tablet or your phone, if you click that, it will show you a certain thing. And just um, keep in mind, I'm just going over these. I'm not going to stop on anything right now. You can look at the meeting list for January or for February or at a meeting list in general. I will stop there. I will go to this list. And this is going to show you a meeting list, a running list of all the meetings. Um, and it has a date range here from May to December. So I could change it from May to January, uh, from May 2015 to January 2016, and it will, it will change the list. I just want to show you that. There's so many ways to achieve um, looking at meetings, and that's just one way where you can see a lot of meetings at a glance. You can also do that in the calendar view as well. As an officer, because I am logged in right now as an officer, it automatically logs me in as an officer when I log in. But I can switch to member view, and um, we'll show you that later. But I can create a meeting. This is how you create a meeting, and we'll get to that um, next session, but I'm sure you all will be playing around with it before the next session, and it's very straightforward, and I showed you this. If you came to the overview training last week, you got a chance to see that. All right, subscribe to the web calendar. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest with you, and we don't use it that much. Uh, but you, I know you can subscribe to different um, calendars that Easy Speak has and get notifications for them, but I've never actually used it. This is my, my most favorite menu here. It's my participation. This menu is everything for the member. For the member, this menu is everything because they can literally do everything from this menu. They can go here and sign up for meetings. If they click sign up for meetings, they'll get one screen that shows them the upcoming four meetings. And from that one screen, they can, they can say whether or not they're attending. They can request a speech. They can say, yes, I want a role. They can see all the roles. They can see who's taken a role, who hasn't taken a role. It's amazing. And we went over this in the overview, but today we really want to show you the club control panel. So I need to keep going. Okay, you can view your speech progress, your leadership progress, you can take a member survey, and you can um, see who is um, in running for the outstanding Toastmaster, because Easy Speak actually helps you to determine who's the Toastmaster of the year based upon all the information in the system, how many meetings they attended, how many speeches they gave, how many workshops they gave. It's amazing. Under my communication, this is an email communication tool where you can see notifications. If you have new messages, you can send a message to everyone, a club mass email. Uh, under this club, this is my 
one of my favorite menus also where you can go to the club directory, you can see the club officers, you can, um, I use the user list a lot. I don't use, we haven't started a portrait gallery, but you can see speech lists, you can see different charts for the club. It's amazing and I want you all to play around with this so that you can know all of this, but um, not today with us on this session. Under the go to, this is where you can see a lot of statistics and find clubs and things of that nature. The help menu is very useful. We'll go over that later. And your profile is pretty straightforward. You would change your profile here and log out or change your view from officer view to club member view so that you can see the site the same way that um, members see the site if you want to see that. All right, now I'm going to um, get to Fatin's question. Uh, it says I can't see your screen. Okay. Oh, it's fine now. Okay, great. Sound not clear. Can everybody hear me okay? <clears throat> uh, Nuha, I'm going to open your mic. If uh, Are you still? Yeah, your mic. Nuha, are you there? Your mic, are you open? Yeah, you're there. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. All right. Um, can you see my screen, Nuha, and can you hear me okay? Obviously, you can hear me. You see my screen? Yes, I can hear you, and I can see your screen. Awesome, awesome. Okay. It's still on meeting list, though. It's still what? On meeting list? Yes, I'm going to come out of it now. I'm just uh, checking okay. the questions box to see what the questions are. Okay, yes, yes, and we're going to discuss today how to retrospectively enter the previous. No, we won't get to that today, Philip. That's in session number three, I believe it is. Um, but if we get a chance, we will. Um, if you want to ask any burning questions, you can put them in the question box. And if we finish everything else in time, yes, we'll go ahead and do that for you. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go to the control panel. This, um, um, what I'm going to show you now is the back end. Once the club has been, you've gotten the email saying that your club has been set up. Now you need to go into the back end and set the club up um, and enter all the club information. Now for 60, 60 something percent of, of you all who are watching this, you already know how to do this, but I'm going to go through this quickly for those who don't know how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, when you click um, club control panel at the very bottom, and I hope you didn't miss me doing that. Let me just scroll down. Uh, it's, it's very tiny at the bottom of your screen. It says club control panel. When you click that, you have to log in again or you have to go through another security checkpoint, if you will. It's going to ask you to log in again. When you log in, you get to the back of the club administration and there's a list of things that you can do here on the left side. Um, uh, th it gives you a quick link back to your home page. So uh, you can always click that to get back to the home page where we started. Um, you can, uh, I'm not sure what the admin index is. Oh, that's an index of what, of, of all the things that you can do. I'm just going to click that quickly. It shows you form statistics and who's online. See all these people who are online. Um, and I never use that, but it, it could be useful at times. The second section here is the import tools. This is where you can actually import members. Say you're setting up your club for the first time and you want to, um, import all your members. You can do that using an Excel sheet. If you click this, it will give you a screen and it will give you red warnings. This routine is only normally used for new clubs just getting started on Easy Speak. And I'm going to add my own red warning that says, be careful using this because I actually did this for Dahran Club, Toastmasters Club. And um, after we, the way we set it up for Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club is we broke the members list into um, five members per, we had five people working on the committee to get us started on Easy Speak. And each person took five members and added them one at a time to Easy Speak, and that worked wonderfully. When you do it that way, the system automatically sends the member an email with their username and password. When you do it this way, on the other hand, the, e the system doesn't do that. It just adds their names. It adds them as a user. It even gives them a password. But what we're having to do now with Dahran, we're having to go and reset the password for each person so that the system automatically generates an email for them. So I'm discouraging you all from using this because it has not uh, worked well for me. And I even um, sent an email to the support system at Easy Speak and they explained to me that that's how it works. And so I don't encourage anyone to use this, but I wanted to show it to you. 
With speeches, there's also an import feature where you can import members' speeches. You have to download um, a, a template file, and you can get that from the knowledge area. Let me see here if they have it here. Okay, um, that's where you, let me see. Okay, there, there's a template that they provide for you to actually download the Excel file because there are certain things that need to be in columns. And there's a template here. Nuha, if you could find that for me um, and then share it when you when it's your turn, that would be great because I'm not sure where it is. Um, I thought it was on this screen, but I don't see it here. Okay, all right, so this is what this is. It shows you a list of all the workbooks and um, you, because you need to make sure if you're importing, let's say you're setting up your club for the first time and you know all the speeches that have been delivered by your members and you're setting it up in the Excel file, the speeches that they've delivered, of course, always corresponds to a particular workbook and you want to make sure that your Excel sheet references the right workbook. So... <clears throat> If they're working in the Competent Communicator Manual and they completed four speeches, you want to make sure that for each one of those four speeches in the column that says workbook, it says number one and not number two because that, that's, a, that's the wrong book for them. All right, so that's how you use that. Under Toastmasters, this is where you actually go and do all the good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and click Club Setup first because that's the main thing. And when you get to the Club Setup screen, you go to Edit. And it's going to open your back-end information. The first general tab is where you can change uh, the name of the club. You can actually see what the name, you should see the name that it's registered at Toastmasters Internet with at Toastmasters International. And if you need to change that, it needs to be done by sending an email to um, Toastmasters International so that they can change that. And it needs to be reflected in your bylaws and constitution as well. Uh, you can give yourself a short name. Um, so we just say Dahran Women's, or we could say DWTC. Uh, the admin email address can be updated here. You can also give yourself a unique URL subdomain under Easy Speak. So if it's um, North Park, you could do np.easyspeak.org, or whatever your club name is, you can you know um, have your own Easy Speak URL. Uh, and so this is just some general information. You can fill out all of this. It's very straightforward. Your Facebook account, YouTube, Google, etc. Under display, this is where you're going to choose your language. You're going to choose your right time zone. That's very important. And you want to choose your date format. It gives you several options for date format. And the option that we use for the ladies club uh, confuses me, me sometimes. Um, but because I'm from the U.S. and we're used to saying... December 9th, 2015, whereas I find in the Middle East and um, we adopt the European standard where it's the date, the date of the month and then the month and then the year. So I sometimes get confused. But you choose whatever is comfortable for you. Um, the date format, this is what's going to show on your screen and on your emails. Uh, privacy settings, you just Check your privacy or uh, choose your privacy settings for what charts are visible to non-members. Because remember that um, mem you can add non-members. You'll learn this. You can add non-members, and each level of um, member type of member that you add to Easy Speak will have different kinds of access. And this is where you tell it what kind of access the members will have. Okay, at 7:30, I need to um, move forward a little quicker, but not too quick if you're not understanding. Okay, does attending a meeting count in Easy Speak? Yes. Yes, you, if your club is using Easy Speak, there is an attendance record for each meeting. And um, so, yes. How can I add my old projects here in Easy Speak? Uh, we'll show you that. Um, that's not on the agenda for tonight, to Master Marazin, and thanks for being here. But we will show you that, and you can also um, – uh, I don't think I covered that. I, I, think, I do have a video that I created a few months ago. So what I want you all to do is join the District 79 Easy Speak support group. And that's, that was in one of the reminder emails that you got today because the videos are all there. There are several short videos that I created when we were implementing um, Easy Speak at the Ladies Club. So that there's a video about Please how to add uh, – what did I say? No, no, no. No, what I meant is we um, 
I created these videos when we were implementing HPL in the ladies group in, in, at DWTC. So I've added those videos to the Facebook group so you all can see them there. And one of them is how to add old speeches and even how to add old roles. Okay. All right. Um, Nuha, do you want to chime in with anything now? Because I I need to let you say something if you want to say anything. Anything you want to say so far? Um, I just was, wasn't clear about the template you wanted me to get because your screen was frozen. At that oh, time. okay. Okay. It's okay. It's the template um, that uh, that the admin person can use if they want to import speeches, but don't worry. It's okay. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll find it and we can always show it the next time. So just make a note that we want to um, share that with them the next time. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Under options, you here can say what you want to activate within the system. Do you want members to be able to take the survey? Uh, the survey corresponds to the new member profile. I don't know how many of you are using that for your club, but we use it for our club. Anytime a member joins, when we do new mem member orientation, we give them the new member profile by PDF, and we ask them to fill that out and ask them to bring it to their first meeting with their mentor. And it asks questions like, why did you join Toastmasters? What do you think your skills are now as a communicator? What do you think your skills are now as a leader? And where do you want to be in six months or something like that? It's a member survey. Um, you can activate the outstanding Toastmaster. This is where it will actually, as I said earlier, it will determine who by TMI criteria, because all of the criteria are embedded into this database system, who is in the lead for being the Toastmaster of the Year. So you want to activate that if you if you give that award in your club. Show membership campaign chart, that's up to you. That's um, That feature presents a chart showing who introduced new members to the club, and that's useful if you have campaigns in the club for um, if members bring a certain number of new guests, then you want to use that. And so these are options where you can just say what you want to be, be viewable on your site. And stats calculation dates, this is, um, you can set how you want the system to calculate um, certain dates, how you want to calculate first mentoring data available. Um, you can, I don't, we don't use this as much, so I'm going to skip over this, and um, it's not something that we use a lot, but if you want to use it, you can, you can use it and play around with it and see what it is. So. Um, role allocation, this is, if you have in your club a minimum requirement of how many times they need to take a role before they can take another role, a certain role, then this is where you would set those standards. So if you, you can set the standards for how many meetings they need to attend before they give a speech, how many meetings they need to attend before they have a role, etc. Uh, role assignment preferences, you can, this is um, telling the system what to do or how to treat um, when they send out role assignments, unsubscribe link at the bottom of the meeting email, because the system will send emails and we'll show you how to do that. Include a sign-up form in navigation blocks, one sheet. Okay, this is where, I think this is where um, in the email, when it sends out the email, members can actually respond directly in the email to whether or not they're gonna take a role. It's directly in the email and um, I believe that's where you can do that. Some of these, a lot of these things we don't use, but we, the things that we do use, we use them regularly, and it's all we need. I mean, we, 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 we're discovering new things now. We've been using it for, uh, since December last year. Um, we, um, we officially started using it December last year, but we heavily started using it in January or February, I think. But um, what I'm saying to you is that the Easy Speak system is so dense with tools for you to use, but you can use the minimum number, minimal number of tools and, and soar as a club in terms of your pl planning your meetings, tracking your members' progress. So don't be overwhelmed. Uh, a lot of these features we don't use right now because we're so happy using what we do use, but um, we do add, we do make, like making new discoveries and learning new things um, as we go. Email notification is, let's see, I'm sorry, let me see what I didn't cover. Request attendance confirmation by email, yes. You want to definitely turn that on, and um, it, you can say how many days ahead before the meeting time um, you want them to request attendance. 
but we don't we this this is our default we I don't think we change this so this is what the system does by default email and notification settings do you want to send the speech details to the evaluator so when a member takes a is delivering a speech and um, their information can be sent to the evaluator this is where you say yes or no your options no just the name and the speech or plus the objectives also a email can go to their mentor and an email can go to the vice president of the membership if, if, if a member declines a role I love this feature it's funny too um, so if a member declines a role the system will ask them okay thank you for letting us know you want to decline this role why are you declining it and they have to type something in and then the mentor and a member and the VPM will get an email about that if um, if they do it after a certain number of meetings because the system de detects that as maybe the member is losing interest so it's a, it's a nice feature but sometimes we have members who are on vacation and they have to decline roles or they they're really really busy or in school and then the system will send an email saying I think so-and-so is becoming disinterested and I know they're not but it's funny I like the fact that the system does that it keeps track of things for us send an email when a new speech request is entered yes you want to click this to both I would we, what we use is both meant we want the mentors to see it and the officers so that the VPE gets the email the mentor gets the email Email, the president gets the email saying that a certain person requested a speech. I'm going to go to the dashboard now and see if any attendees have their hands raised. Okay, I'm going to look at the questions because I feel like I'm talking, talking, talking. No sound. Uh, Nuha, can you hear me? Can everyone hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So um, my sound is okay. If you're not hearing me, it's something on on uh, your end. So I see one person who said she couldn't hear me, but I hope um, it's get, it gets resolved. The next tab is meetings. This is where you tell it the time and place of the meeting, um, where where you normally meet. Um, if you meet in more than one place, it will show the if you've met in one more than one place or if you ever meet in more than one place like for example North Park sometimes you meet on the 11th floor sometimes on the seventh floor and if you um, have a need for multiple locations then you would put that there you tell it when the club meets what days first second third fourth if it meets every Tuesday then you can just click Tuesday without clicking all of these. We have have them all clicked, but I think we can uncheck them and it will just know every Tuesday. But if you only meet every other week, then you can tell it if you meet alternating weeks or only the first and third, for example. So if a month has five weeks, you would only meet the first and the third if you only meet on the first and the third. But if you meet on alternating weeks, you'll meet the first, the third, and the fifth. So that's where you tell the system that. Agenda preferences, this is really important, uh, and you can play around with this. We did when we first set up the system. Uh, you, you're telling it how you want the agenda to look. The Easy Speak will print an agenda for you. And um, what, um, Nuha, if you could just um, go and print an agenda on your screen, not print it for real, and, I'll, and when it becomes your turn, you can show them that. Um, that's one of the great features of uh, Easy Speak is once the meeting is set up, you just click one button and it shows you uh, the agenda and then you can print it um, easily, very easily. Um, on the agenda, you tell it whether you want the, the members' names, first name, last name, how you want the members' names to show. Do you want to print the meeting days and weeks? You go through all these settings and choose what you want to show. You can show recent D DCP points earned. You can show the meeting theme, which we do. Show the word of the day, we do. Show the um, a meeting number. Um, a lot of clubs really track their meeting numbers. And um, so if you are a club that does that, then you want to show that on the agenda. But the system tracks your meeting numbers automatically. Um, and you, you can set up, for example, since you're a new, most of you are existing clubs, you can tell it. If you know you already met 110 times, you can, when you set up the system, you can say the next meeting will be meeting number 111. So that's where you can tell the system. Display club statistics, that's up to you on the screen, on the printed agenda, et cetera. So I won't go through all of these. Let me see if there's anything that... Um, sometimes we use the feature print the attendance, so it'll show who confirmed their attendance ahead and who sent regrets. I love that feature when I first uh, used it because it'll print on the agenda who sent apologies. Um, that's really cool. 
and you can choose a format here. This is really important. Um, I played around with each one of these settings um, to see which agenda format we liked in the beginning. So we use agenda underscore body underscore two. That's the one we like. And Nuha will show you that when we get when we turn it turn it over to her. Okay, I'm gonna go now to um the TMI info is um your club number, and most of this is brought in from TMI, so um you don't really have much to do here. I don't think we can change this. Oh, we can. Oh, so if for example, if you're moving to another area after the alignment, you can change that and it will be updated in, this, in the system. Um, this club is open to all interested persons or only to members in a specific organization or group. You want to make that consistent with whatever you put in your club bylaws and constitution. And once you've done all of that, you click save. Um, I am going to put 20 back here and click save. You click save and it will save your changes. Now I'm going to show you uh, club officers. This is pretty straightforward. It lists all the officers. And you can even add officers. So you can have an acting VPE, a web assistant. The system comes with the default settings. And I think IT support and web assistant might be uh, part of the default. Of course, all the officers are part of the default, but they have some additional ones for IT support because I know they get used to the need for IT support when clubs are um, starting up initially, you can have someone who's not in your club be a member of your club but have a special role called IT support so that they can help you navigate. We did that um, when we were when we first started out. You can also add roles. These are two roles that we added, acting VPE and acting VPE2. Um, so you to add a role, you click add here. To edit a role, you just click the edit button near the um, on the on the line on the row with the um, officer name. And that's pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to show you location edit. This is pretty straightforward. These are all our locations. If you want to add a new location, you go here, you click add. If you want to edit something, you can do that. The only thing is that um, I don't think because we tried to, oh, if you have, um, if you have agendas assigned to a location, you can't delete it. So um, 40 meetings of your club have this location. You cannot delete it. Okay, so you can only delete a location if you've never used it um, and there are no agendas assigned to it. Otherwise, you just leave them and um, it's no problem. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything. Meeting awards. This is where you tell it what kind of awards you give in your club because all clubs don't give the same awards. The system by default has, um, I think, the first five uh, settings, best speaker, best table topics, best evaluator, most enthusiastic, and uh, maybe a couple of other ones. But this is where you would change those awards if you need to change it or disable it so that it doesn't appear when you are closing out your meetings. Part of what happens is after the meeting is over, you have to close your meeting. And part of closing the meeting is saying who got what awards. And this is where you would manage that. If you see some awards that um, are showing on your back end and you don't have that for your club, then you would come here and change the setting by um, disabling that. And you can also add new awards. If you have the cutest person award or the one with the best hair award or the one who has the best heart, anything, you can make things up. <laughs> Okay, meeting roles. Um, this is where you can um, see what meeting roles are set up by default and where you can add ones. Um, so they have a lot of roles by default, educational session, speaker. You can change them. You can add new ones, and you'll learn this uh, next week when you're setting up a meeting. And I'm sure a lot of you will play around with this or have already um, if you're already on Easy Speak. It even has competition competition um, roles. Um, you can change that to contest chair if you want instead of competition. You have um, free reign to do whatever you want in terms of adding roles. And here's the add button. All the pages are pretty simple. All the, in, in clubs, in the control panel, everything is pretty straightforward. The edit buttons are on the right. Add a button. The add button is at the bottom. Member survey, this is where you can change the questions on the member survey. You can add a question or hide a question. 
Uh, so, for example, this is, these are some of the survey questions. What is your occupation? Who do you work for? What are your accomplishments and your interests? Um, why did you join Toastmasters? These are the questions that they're asked. Uh, and we're seeing this now on the back end. We're not seeing it as a survey, but we're seeing it as someone setting up the survey. The survey on the other side looks different, um, but we're showing you everything on the back end right now. Member status. And remember, I, uh, uh, part of the club setup is whether, you, whether or not you want the member survey to be available for members on the front end. But this is where you, that, what I just showed you was where you would actually uh, make changes to the member survey in terms of the questions that they have. So now I'm going to switch over to Toastmaster Nuha because she's going to talk to us about the different um, member types. And Nuha, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to your screen. And you're going to get a message on your My side. My computer is just uh, a little bit slow. I hope that won't, wouldn't be an issue. Okay, let's just try and see. So okay. if you'll just accept the request to share your screen, then we'll be switched over to your screen. Let me check the question box Can while we're doing that. It's, it says it's coming up now, so it takes a minute. Okay. I can hear you. I can see the meeting. I can, can I assign a role? Yeah, you can. So I just want to ask, answer some of these questions while we're waiting for your to view your screen. Did you click the yes button that said yes, it's okay to share your screen, Nuha? Did you see yes, that? Yes, I did. Okay. So it's not showing yet, um, maybe because it's slow on your end. Let me just take some of these questions. Um, okay, Marazin, um, if you're looking in Dahran, and you're looking for the meeting for the 22nd, maybe they didn't set it up yet. Uh, um, I can check that for you quickly, but if you're not seeing something, it might be because of that. Uh, but if a meeting has been set up, let me just go quickly, switch to Dahran. Still, uh, let me see if I got your screen yet, Nuha. No, I didn't get your screen yet, Nuha. Okay, uh, so I'm looking at Dahran, and what it shows when I go to Dahran, it shows immediately the up, next upcoming meeting for the 15th. If I want to go to the next meeting, which would be the 22nd, I just click this arrow that says the following meeting, or next, and then it's going to take me to the next. Uh, as an officer, I'm getting this um, message which says, which says I need to close out meetings, but ignore that. You won't get it as a member. Oh, so yeah, there's no, there's been no meeting set up for the 29th, uh, it looks like, um, for Dahran. So if we go to the calendar here and look at the 22nd, yeah, it does, it has a meeting there. Why can't we see it? Can you see my screen now? Uh, uh, hold on, let me see. I'll tell you. One second. Uh, no, Nuha, I can't see your screen. It says waiting to view Nuha Hashim's screen. And um, usually it says that if you um, when it's if you've clicked your screen, okay, here it comes now. Okay, there we go. Great. So um, let me just yeah, I can see your screen now. So Marazin, um two things need to need to happen in order for you to see a meeting. Let me just answer this question for him. There, the meeting needs to have been added by the admin, the VPE or the president, and it needs to have an agenda assigned. A meeting can be added, but if no agenda is signed, you're not going to be able to see it. So Dahran is still setting things up, and that's probably why you can't see the one for the 22nd, but I'm sure you'll be able to see the one for the 29th, and you can follow, have a follow-up question if you like or a comment. Okay, I'm turning it over to Nuha now for her to tell us about the different um, member statuses. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I... Uh can everybody can everybody see my screen? Okay. Uh, can you all let Nuha know if you can see her screen, please? Yes. Okay. Can you send in the question? Yeah, they said yes. yes. Everybody can see it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, so I will start by um, um, the last item on the control panel menu, which uh, DT Amakanke was was just explaining right now. So the last item is member status. Um, when you go into into this um, item, you will find different kinds of 
uh, mem of uh, users that you can add to uh, your club, uh, people associated with your club. So uh, these are the default types. Uh, you can be a member, an inactive member, a special guest, a visitor. Um, you can be on the mailing list or you can be past interest or a past member. So each one of these by default has some privileges. So for example, members can speak, they can take roles, they can uh, see the list online. Uh, okay, I, let me go to, let me hide this first. Okay, I want to hide the webinar control panel so I can... Okay, there should be a little arrow, the arrow that's pointing to the... Yeah, right. I, I see it. It's just okay. slow. I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. <clears throat> okay. So you're still waiting for it to disappear? Um, yes, the, um, the cursor is not working actually. Okay, we can see it now. Okay, looks like it's fine now. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, it's fine now. Okay, so uh, next to each category, you will find uh, on the on the right side, uh, edit button. So for a member, for example, I will I will start by going into a member for edits just as a display. All the rest have the same page when you go into edit. Um, so the description of this is member. You can change it to something else, like a distinguished member or um, anything you want to anything you want to call your members by. Um, full member of the club, yes. User may manage meetings, yes. They can make speech speeches at meetings. They can take roles at meetings, and um, Potential attenders, yes, because they will attend the meeting. They they might be on the attendance list, of course, as members. Uh, show an attendance, actually show them on the atten attendance um, and actual edit screen on the of the agenda. Yes, uh, allocate roles automatically. There's a feature where EasySpeak allocates roles automatically depending on the members' educational needs, and we'll get to that in the next session. A uh, user should receive meeting email. They they receive a meeting email, of course, as a member, and they receive the general email with the agenda. Uh, we do not treat them as past on the user list because they are members. They are current. Okay, so um, I will save. I can change any of this if I want for a different category. For example, um, inactive member, they can speak, but they cannot take a role. Uh, it depends on you. You can change it yourself. This is the default of the system. Uh, they are not passed. They are just inactive. A special guest uh, is someone who's uh, visiting the club. They can take a role. They can speak. So it could be someone visiting from a different club, for example. They can speak. They can take a role. They can be on the attendance list. They can do everything, just like a member. Uh, visitors by default cannot speak and cannot take roles. These are like guests, so you can even go to edit and change their name to guests if if that's um, if that would make it clearer to you as a category. Uh, mailing list uh, they don't have any privileges. They just receive the general email of the meeting, the one with the agenda, the last email we send after the agenda is ready. Uh, past interest, no email to be sent at all because these are uh, members who are not interested in the club anymore. Members or guests are not interested in the club anymore. Um, they are exactly like past members. Uh, the only difference is that never send a meeting email or general email to them. Past, past member, you do not send them emails either. Okay. Um, now I will go from the control panel to the Easy Speak page. The, um, I will go back to the profile front page. Oh, this is really slow. Does anyone have a, any questions about this part? Let me see. Sound not. 
Dr. Adela, your sound is not clear a lot tonight, so sorry. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Um, okay, no questions? No questions, uh -uh, no hands raised, raised either. Okay, go okay. ahead, Nuha. Okay, so um, now I showed you the different categories of members, and I will show you how to add users when you first start your club. So as, um, as DT Amakanke showed us, when you add your club, you will be the admin and you will be the only uh, person in this club. So you need to add all the members of the club. You wanted to say something? No, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Bill Keith has a question. Let's take her question quickly while we're... Okay. I'm sorry about that's my okay, slow that's computer. Okay. Hi, Toastmaster Bill Keish, your, your mic is open. Please go ahead and ask your question or make a comment. Waiting to hear you. Can't hear anything from your end, Bill Keish. Uh, I want to do something... Um, I just want to test the mic of someone else uh, to make sure. I'm going to mute you now, Toastmaster Bill Keys. Uh, Toastmaster Fatin, do you mind if I open your mic and say hello and just test your mic? I just want to make sure it's not a global issue. I'm going to open your mic. Fatin, salam alaikum. Alaikum salam, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. That's great. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for being here on the training as well. Thank you. And um, I'm going to mute you now. If you all have any questions um, with anything, as I said, that you're already, if you're already using Easy Speak, we want to try to get to those uh, before we finish. So please um, send us your questions so that we can get to those if we have time. How can I add my picture? Oh, great. Marazin, you're asking lots of great questions. She's going to show you that. Um, I think she'll get to that in, in the user profile. Uh, go ahead, Nuha. Um, I'll get to, yes, I'll get to that after we add the users. Okay. So um, go to um, this club, the drop down menu, and click on user list. Can you see my yes. screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, when you click on user list, you will see the list of all the users associated with this club. You will see the members, the guests, all the um, users that have been added before. But if you're just if you just created the the club page, you will only find yourself on this list. So, um, how to add a new user? You can. There's an. Um, can everybody see this icon over here? Yes, there's an mm -hmm. icon that you can click on. Add user. It will open uh, another uh, window where you can enter the information of the new user you want to add. Okay, well, this screen is opening. Um, I can show you how you can view the member list when you uh, when you finally have a user list, uh, you can either uh, only show members. You can tick this box to only show members if you just want to view mem the members of the club. You can uh, uh, show members and non-members at the same time. I can um, click on this, check this box. Okay, just once. I'm not sure if it clicked. Okay, so adding a new user, the, the window has opened now. Um, so the first thing that it asks you is, um, what is what is the member status? Are they a visitor? Are they a member? What are they? So if you're adding your members, you will choose member. Okay. Okay. There's member inactive. Member, all the the whole list that we have seen before in the in the control panel. So you can choose member, for example. 
Then you can uh, um, add when they were associated with the club. When was the first time they came to the club, maybe as a guest or something. Um, introduced to the club by, the, um, as DTM Akanke mentioned, you can, um, I'm sorry, you can display who introduced who to the club for membership awards. Um, input full name and email. You, you have three options. You can input their full name and email. You can select from a list of previous club members and visitors. Uh, or you can input the user's username. Uh, I think input the user's username if they already have an account on EasySpeak, if they are with some other club. However, if you choose input full name and email, and you try to enter an email address that is already on EasySpeak, it will not allow you to add it twice. So once your email address has been entered into EasySpeak, you can um, you may only use this one account for all the clubs you are associated with. So I, I will write my name, for example, my first name, my last name, and my email address. This is just as a display. It will not allow my email address to be added again. Submit. After that, you will get a page where you can. Um, it will not allow me to add this email address. Um, I wish I could show you the page. Uh, Akanke, do you have any email we can add? Email uh, address? Yeah. Um, uh, you can add Akanke. No, I already added that one already. Uh, you can add district79webinars at gmail.com. That's a long okay. one, sorry. District79webinars at gmail.com. Okay. District79webinars. Webinars? Uh huh, plural. At gmail.com. Is this correct? Yes, that's correct. District 70, yes, that's okay, correct. Okay, um, I, will, I will write the first name as district and last name 79. Um, I will click submit. Let me check the question box to see if there are any questions. Yes, please. Nuha, um, how did you get this pop-up menu? Uh, uh, the, the window? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I clicked on add user. Add user on, the, on this page, on the user list page. I clicked add user. Can you see the icon? On the right side of the page, top right. there's an icon that says Add User. Yes, top right. I just clicked on it, and then that pop-up window came up. Um, okay, it's um. Okay. Okay, this is. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Uh, so you, you you just showed them how to add a user, and yes. uh, now you're going to show them how to edit a user. Yes, I will. Uh, first, I want to show them how they can view the members member list. They can the user list. They can do different combinations. They can show members and non-members. They can show only members or only officers or only past users or a combination of all these mm -hmm. uh, four different combinations. Uh, you can also sort them by order, uh, their order in ascending or descending order by first name. And uh, you can sort them 
by many different things. Now it is set to first name. Uh, actually, now it is set to membership status. You can set it to first name, family name, username, last visit, um, last role, many different things. Um, I'm trying to be quick so we... Yeah, and I think what it does it is time. it shows... Uh, when, when it shows membership status, it shows the member and it defaults to first name alphabetical order. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, this is the window that we had um, for when we added District 79 webinars mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. We can um, have a we can put a username for them. The the system already um, put a random password for them. So we can just put um, a username that they can change later if they don't like it. For example, for for Dahran Women's Toastmasters Club, what uh, what what DTM Akanki started doing, and we kept on doing that, is uh, using the first the initial of the first name and the last name. So this is my name, N Noha N, only the, the the first letter of the, the initial of the of, of my first name and my last name. So I and then create new user and when you click on it, it sends an email to so can to that you, person saying that you're now. Can you make that um, webinars called my username webinars? Okay. This is for District 79 webinars. Just to okay. Complete that process. Webinars. Mm -hmm. Then I click on create new user. Check the window box here. It actually sent me uh, an email too saying that uh, this email was sent to that person. Okay, and uh, as a, as a I club officer on my side to make sure uh, I got the email. And okay. Yes, I got I got an email. Uh, okay. Welcome to Easy Speak. So the member will get an email, and that's what I was saying about how wonderful it is to use this way of adding new members instead of using the what seems like an easy and straightforward way. Just upload one Excel file. It creates the users. It does all of that. But it doesn't send them an email, and this is priceless to for them to get the email. So yes, I got an I got an email that shows my username and my password. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to edit um, a member's profile. As an officer, you have that access. Um, you, for example, this for example, this is the first member on the list. Uh, there are two icons next to her name. If I hover over this one, it will say something. Okay, my computer is slow. So the pen is the edit part. Uh, the other one, I think, is the... Um, I'm not sure what the other one is. A request a speech for that member. Uh, we'll get to that in the next session. So I'll, I'll click on edit. I'll click on this red pen over here. There are different uh, other other different icons. There's the the communication progress for the member, their leadership progress, and their summary and reply log. Um, okay. Waiting for the edit page to open. Okay, and I just want to keep us mindful of the time. It's almost eight fifteen, and um, yes. We are. We still. We want to cover um, resetting the password, editing, and, the editing mm -hmm, and then troubleshooting. Actually, resetting the profile. I'm going to mention it through this part. Yes. 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 Okay. So um, you can edit the profile of a member as an officer, and um, it is. Um, it is the same thing as the member editing their own profile, so I will show you that 
from where you can edit your own profile. I think that's better to show you from there. But from here, I will just show you what to do if a member um, cannot open their account or they forgot their password and um, it's not working for them. They can't open their account anymore. You go to that member, edit profile next to that member, and you click on this this um, I icon, reset. Then it resets their profile and it sends them a new password to their email. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, no, actually, you click reset password on the right over here. If oh, you click reset, it resets the whole... Excuse me? Right, yes. Uh -huh. Reset password. I thought that's what you said. Yes, yes reset, reset password. password. That's the one. Yes. Um, I will now go to profile. Anyone can do this, member or officers. Akanki, can you test Andrea's mic? Yeah, sure. Maybe her, uh, her laptop would be faster than this. Okay, or we can switch back to me if you want me to do anything for you. Um, let's just see. Hi, Andrea. Your mic is open. Can you hear me? Okay, I don't hear her. Um, okay, do you want me to do you want me to do something on my side? Uh, it's really slow over here. I'm okay. I'm just concerned about the time and okay. um, well, let the me file is not opening. We just need to um, show them how to edit their profile. Okay. And and the, the discussion forum. Okay. All right, so we'll do that. And the easy speak video. Okay. 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 I can tell you while you're doing it, okay? Uh, say it again, you can what? I can tell you while you're doing. Okay, what, you what we need to do. Oh, okay. So um um so go I, ahead. Uh, can you all see my screen now? Can you see my screen, Nuha? Uh, just a second. Yes, I can see your screen. Okay. All right. So I did get the email. It says, Welcome to Easy Speak. Now I'm going to go back to. Uh, my Easy Speak login, and I have a gazillion um, windows open. So sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, this will get to Marazin's question about how to add his photo. Uh, you go to profile, and this is what I'm showing them now, right? Is this what I'm showing them, or what am I doing? Remind me, please. Sorry. Yes, go to profile. Uh, am I showing him how to, how to change his own profile, right? To edit his profile. Yeah, okay. So if yes. you want to edit your own profile, you go to profile and um, choose profile under profile, and it will take you to your profile. You can make changes, change your email address. If that needs to change, you can change your username. To add a photo, where is the photo images? This is you click the images tab and you choose a photo. It has to be a certain size. Uh, displays a small graphic image in the profile. Only one image can be displayed at a time. Its width can be no greater than 800 pixels and have no height greater than 800 pixels. <coughs> and a file size of no more than 25 uh, k 2500 kb. So you just uh, click choose file. And you go get another picture, or go get your picture wherever it is, and you just upload it, and it's pretty straightforward, like that. I don't think I have any that fit the requirement. Um, so that's how you do that. And and if if it doesn't fit the requirements, like the right size, it'll let you know, and you just make sure it um, you correct it to be the right size. You can also um, add a photo from a URL if you have a photo online somewhere and it has a direct URL, you can use that Use that as well and it'll, it'll, it will pull it in. Okay, um, and what else do I want to show them here? This is this is everything. You just go for wherever, whatever you want to change. You find the tab where that information is located and you make the changes there. It's pretty straightforward. Any questions about this? Oops. 
Okay, clear. Okay, the next okay great. Thing? The next thing is uh, the um, knowledge base. Knowledge base. Okay. Easyspeak.org. Yeah. Let me. Okay. Let me move my control panel. It's in my way. I'm gonna um, save this. You have to save your changes in order for it, them to take. So make sure you save it. I didn't do anything just now, but I saved it just for good measure. Now it's gonna refresh the screen, and I'm going to now go under 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 the help option and go to the knowledge map. Uh, I don't, this is a knowledge map. I want to... No, um, yeah, you can delete the word map from yeah, the... I'm, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. You can go to knowledge map and you get this map of what um, everything that's in the knowledge base and how it's organized. Um, and there are different topics. So under efficient organization, these are articles about different things. Uh, articles and tools to help with the administrative aspects of running a quality club. Under Toastmasters, a description of the roles and responsibilities of the club officers. Um, district officers, officer training, lots of great stuff. Starting a new club. So it actually gives you lots of tools that are not related to easy speaking and, and meeting management. It's a wonderful resource for everything Toastmasters. It's really, really great. Um, and if you want to see an easy way to view the knowledge base, you can go to easyspeak.org forward slash KB, and it takes you to the knowledge base where you can see three categories, uh, categories related to what makes a quality club, information about Toastmasters and using this site and using this site. So if you have questions about using EasySpeak, you would go to using this site, but you can also get to it through the knowledge map that we just saw as well. And this shows different articles. Articles here are related to um, data, data protection issues, video training clips. And that's the next thing I want to show you under um, the help option. You can go directly to Easy Speak videos where there is Easy Speak videos that have been created. And I love how they've organized it. I'm not crazy about the videos, to be honest with you, but they're very useful at the same time in terms of the information they, that they provide. Um, um, but they have videos organized by uh, officer role or function. So this first tab shows videos related to the club member, um, member tasks. So they have one, two, three, um, three videos related to various member tasks. And you can watch the videos about whatever that member the member tasks are. Mickey, this is a fictitious club, by the way. All these videos are used, um, create, uh, are, oh, let me stop that. So Coach Carroll is the one who narrates all the um, videos, and it's a fictitious club. So she, all the club members are fictitious, and the name of the club is King Arthur's Club, I think, Toastmasters Club. And so she shows you different tasks, so you can you can definitely use these as resources. Uh, and it's based on Mickey Mouse and Disneyland and things like that. So it's um, uh, And so there are other tabs here for the club president. This is a video um, that shows you some information specifically for club presidents. So this is very useful. Videos for the VPE, VPE creating meetings, VPE creating agenda templates. So come on, so we don't need to do the training anymore. Why don't we just make this the only training and you all just watch all the videos? <laughs> <laughs> no, what I suggest is you watch all the videos or as many as you can in between and then come come next week uh, with, with really questions because you all aren't asking many questions right now, maybe because you understand all of this information. But what about questions that we didn't cover that are not related to what we're covering tonight? Do you have any? Let me just go to the question box and see what's there. We love your trainings. Oh, thank you, Fatin. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your feedback. So again, these videos are great to watch to help you um, speed up your learning curve and what you learn on Easy Speak and how fast you can implement it in your club. It's um, it's great to take time to watch those. And um, also, I just want to tell you all about. Let's see what else. Troubleshooting. Oh, I want to show you. Go back to trouble. Yeah, I want to show you how to, if you have an issue, go to discussion forum to um, open a new topic. Or first, you want to search for your topic before you ask a new question. It's just like all support 
um, forums. They don't want you to ask a question that's already been answered. So search first to make sure you can you, you don't see an answer for your question. So this forum is organized into general discussion here or discussions about use of the application and club discussions. These are, um, you can actually start a discussion thread for your club, for your particular club, and it'll show up here. Um, in fact, it's that's what it's showing. It's already doing that. It's categorizing. It knows which clubs I'm associated with and which districts I'm associated with. I actually went to District 54 website the other day, so it added that immediately to my club discussion. And if I get a new club that I'm associated with, it's going to add club discussions there. But there are no posts, as you can see here, in uh, in any of these because um, we haven't had many discussions. There is a discussion in Dot Run Women's Toastmasters Club. Okay, so this is where you can uh, choose which what the issue is. Choose what your issue is. So if you have an issue with um let's see what do i want to choose general discussion questions uh, i'm going to go to use of this application how do i the first one if you want to figure out how to do something you can scroll through here and see how to enter pa enter past speeches wow there's the answer to your question who was that that asked that question um and so there, there's so much information here. So if you want to, if that's a question you had, you don't need to ask it again. You just go here. And if it has a good answer, then you're good to go. And it usually gives a reference, importing member speeches from a spreadsheet. So this is a great link if you want to learn how to do that. And that's, again, if you're starting out, but your members are not just starting out. They've done speeches. They've taken roles. This is where you could um, find out how to do that. And it's pretty cool. Okay. Um, how to open. I want to show you how to open a new topic. So you could go um, right right now. Um, you could go to under how do I if you have a question related to how uh, related to how to do something, then you would click new topic here and open a new topic and um, put your information and submit it. And that's pretty pretty much it. It's straightforward. Um, Member view, officer view. Okay, so now what I want to show you um, is I'm going to go back to the home page. And remember in the beginning I told you that it immediately signs me in as an officer. And it gives me access as an officer. So uh, if you look here under meetings, I can create a meeting as an officer. I can do that. Um, I can schedule speeches. Um, but if I change to club member view, it's going to refresh my screen and some a lot of my options will go away or some of my options will go away because of how the system is set up. So if I go under meetings, I cannot create a meeting. I can only see the calendar, look at the last meeting, upcoming meetings, by the month, or the meeting okay. list. Yes. Can, can you, you do me? again where they get the... Um, yes, I can hear you. Oh, but I go can you yes. uh, click again on where to get member view? Club yes. member view or officer view? Sure. Under profile. Under profile. If I'm logged in as an officer, when I log in, it defaults to log me in as an officer. I just go under profile, choose club member view. It will refresh the screen. And now I'm using the system as a user myself. This is helpful to officers, um, especially when you're first learning the system, if you want to know how other members or how members view the site. Also, if you just want to not be an officer and you want to do something as a member, you can have that member experience. Okay, so we've covered everything that we wanted to cover tonight, including teaching you how to add a club to Easy Speak and familiarizing you with the layout of the Easy Speak page and the menu items. We showed you the control panel in the back end and how to import members if you want to do that, but with a big warning, don't do that. And how to import speeches, how to add club officers or how to view the club officers. Uh, what I can show you quickly as a bonus, um, if you're not familiar with this, um, I'm going to go back to my officer view. And this is related to club officers. Um, if you want to see, Akanki? Yes, uh huh. Uh, did yeah. we do the poll about Division M um, no, we can members do that. or non division? Yeah, let okay. me do that quickly. We want to take a poll because uh, 
Um, part of this training, the context for this training is that NUHA is doing this training, particularly it started out to um, teach all division M, and in fact, you can tell them while I get the poll, Nuha, tell them that about your HPL okay. project. Oh, sure. So um, my HPL project is to train all the committed officers of Division M clubs on how to use EasySpeak and uh, implement it effectively in their club, using it for meeting planning and for tracking their members' progress. So um, that's the the mission of my of my HPL project. That's my mission. So uh, that's why I need to we need to take a poll on how many um, members or officers from Division M are attending this webinar. Uh, and uh, actually, I forgot to add that poll before we started, so we don't have it, but uh, I'll create it quickly. Okay. But um, I want to do another poll that we do have, and I'm going to launch it now, and you can tell me, um, re respond to that. Waiting for you all to respond. Can you see the poll on your, on your screen? Yeah, okay, they're voting. What excites you the most about yeah. using EasySpeak? <laughs> <laughs> I can't vote. Um, oh, uh, it says organizers and panelists don't vote. Yeah, organizers and panelists don't vote. Right. Okay, so 44% okay. of you have voted. Can we get a few more of you to chime in about what you like and are excited about for Easy Speak, about using Easy Speak? 56%. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to close the poll now, and I'm going to share the results. Forty percent of you said you're excited about tracking educational progress of members, and sixty percent you said you're excited about everything. That's great. Thank you very much for participating in that poll. And now I'm going to launch this poll here. Are you a member of Division M? It would be great if 100% of you have um, participated, but it seems like some of you are, are not even, okay, 67%? Okay. All right. So um, we'll end that, close that poll, and then we can also check the list as well by names. Um, and so 83% are from Division M, 17% are not. Well, we are happy to have all of you, Division M and any other division who joined us tonight for our training to get started on in-depth and up-close training or learning about Easy Speak. We are passionate about this because of how it has transformed our club and our members' progress and how easy it is to manage the club meetings. Um, Toastmaster Andrea, who had technical issues and couldn't um, be on with us tonight, she's the current VPE for our club. And um, it would be great to hear from her the next time about the benefits of using it. She has the benefit of having used it after Nuha and I set it up. And Nuha and I sometimes pulled our hair out because we didn't really understand the system. <laughs> we had to really teach ourselves in the beginning until I found someone who consulted with us and showed us how to speed up what we learned because we were about ready to give up on Easy Speak, and I'm so glad we didn't give up on it. Aren't you, Nuha? Yes, very glad. Yes. I'm so excited <laughs> to share the knowledge as well. <laughs> yeah, so we love it now. That's yeah, great. And I want to leave you all with a thought um, because um, District 59, the person who um, – consulted with us to help us learn Easy Speak. I, I implemented Easy Speak in our club as my HPL project. The club was new and we were using a Google Sheet and I said, no, I want to use Easy Speak. And so I took a survey in the Toastmasters International official Facebook group asking what's the best system to use if you want to automate your agenda. And every, I would say 80% of the people said Easy Speak. Some others said um, the free Toast host, but most people said Easy Speak. And um, I found someone who helped us with Easy Speak, and I forgot what my point was. What was I getting ready to say? Um, um, how Easy Speak benefited the district? Yes, thank you. Um, district 59, the person who consulted with me and was on my guidance committee for my HPL project, which HPL, by the way, is High Performance Leadership. 
it's a project you, that has no prerequisite. You can do it almost any time, and it teaches you five important leadership skills, and you have to create this project that you want to complete uh, that will help you to utilize and learn those skills and develop those skills. So my HPL project was implementing Easy Speak in the Club, and he said that he's very – um, he's been around a long time. I think he has three DTMs or something like that. He said uh, for D District 59, um, district governor at the time said that their district consistently earned distinguished district, president's distinguished district because all of their clubs use Easy Speak. So it makes a difference for members with achieving their goals, and that benefit trickles up to the district. Because it's all about what the members achieve. That's what that's what the whole Distinguished Club program is about. At the club level, at the area level, for a distinct, distinguished area, it's really about how the members are doing in the club. So it trickles up. So Easy Speak made a difference for their district, and we wanted to make a difference for our district. And we're starting out with our own club and with our area and our division. And we're happy to share this with you. I want to thank Newha for being here and helping to facilitate the training. And I want to give them an um, a view of what's coming up next. Nuha, can you tell them what we're going to go over next week? Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Ditya Makanke. Um, next week we're going to, next week is mostly focused on the VPE's role. So um, we're going to teach you how to create meetings uh, when after after you started your, you added your club page, how to create meetings and how to uh, edit the agenda of the meeting, and how to sign up your, uh, as VPE, sign up your members for uh, speeches, uh, either speeches requested by them or speeches that you recommended they do now. Um, what else? We're also going to... Um, just a second, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're also. I'm sorry, I hate my computer. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna try and load, load it here. Um, well. It's on my screen now. If you can. Yes, see. and how to send how to send meeting announcements through Easy Speak instead of using emails. It's much easier. Uh, and how to close your meetings um, and enter the actual the actual roles and the actual results of the meeting and the attendance. Great. So for thank, record keeping. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you again, Nuha, for thank being here. Thank you so here. much, Diti And yes. um, we'll see you all next Wednesday, same time, 7 o'clock. Next Wednesday session may go to two hours because of what we have to cover with creating meetings and selecting agendas and creating new, um, showing you how to create a new agenda if you need to, and sending meeting announcements. And, and we're going to... Um, be looking at it from the control panel of Easy Speak, but we're also going to have to go to email to look at that. So that's going to be some back and forth. But we've also embedded some time in for you to come with your questions. So here's what we want you to do. We want you to make sure you sign up with our District 79 Easy Speak support group. It's D79 Easy Speak support group on Facebook. We also want to make sure that you look at the videos that are posted there, but also look at the videos that are in the Easy Speak videos section. And finally, we want you to just take time to play around with Easy Speak in your system and set it up if you haven't set it up because we showed you how to do that tonight. If you have any questions for us, you can send us an email. We're going to put the email information in um, the thank you email that comes after this training, but my email address is akanke715 at gmail.com, and Nuha's email is, what is it, Nuha? Um, my email, yeah. nuha.hashem90 at gmail.com. Okay, so um, let me just show it here, Nuha. And you? Yeah, I have it here, nuha.hashem. 90 at gmail.com. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening, and we'll see you next week. If you have any questions in between time, please don't hesitate to ask because 
we even want your feedback on how this training went and what you, how you want the tra- uh, the future trainings to improve. Um, do we need to speed up? Do we need to, you know, just so we want your feedback. Please don't hesitate to give us your feedback because we want this to be a powwow session of um, trainings for you, and we want you to enjoy Easy Speak and to enjoy the training. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you.